These brands got roasty toasted. This morning at 7-Eleven, I saw a lizard. Ew. Next to the coffee maker and the cashier said, no worries, that's just Marvin. He likes the smell. <laughs> what? 7-Eleven wrote, oh no, can you DM us with the store location you visited so we can check in on Marvin? <laughs> Thank you. You know what? For 7-Eleven kind of getting exposed to have a reptile next to their like coffee maker and where their food and drink section is, like, ugh. my guess is that would not pass a health and safety check in any kind of food business, but uh, sure. But they just wanted to play it off kind of snippy and be like, oh, we just want to check out Marvin. Like, <laughs> let's laugh off the fact that, that lizard is probably filled with disease, but no problem. It's just Marvin. Just got my $39,000 hospital bill for having a stroke at 34. <gasps> and he has the receipt, 38,587 and 19 cents. That makes me want to throw up. Thank God I live in Canada. The New York, okay, so the hospital wrote saying, thank you for reaching out. Please send us a direct message so that we can learn more. Like, thanks for nothing. Someone commented, here's a thought, stop profiting off the pain and suffering of human beings. Facts. Like, honestly, what are you gonna do? Like, I DM you and what, you drop my bill by a thousand dollars? I feel like Twitter is not the place for a hospital to like reach out. Like, I feel like maybe you should have never handed me a $38,000 bill. Definitely a lot of perks to the Canadian healthcare. And uh, I can't complain, and I can't complain after seeing that. That's for damn sure. I got swatted and ordered a new door. What the F, UPS? Wait, what? How, what? What is this door made out of? Styrofoam? How does the door bend? UPS row, I understand how receiving a package in that condition can be upsetting, to say the least. We can report it on our end to have feedback provided. Message us, the UPS tracking number, etc. Someone wrote, nah, tell me how you bend an effing door. Like, yeah. No, no, I don't need to email you. I don't need details about what happened. There's no explanation. How the hell? Do you bend a door? How does one mess that up? This is by far the biggest you had one job I've ever seen in my life. You lay it flat, you pick it up flat, and you place it down flat. There's just no explanation. Why am I trying? My Amazon Prime driver just threw up outside my driveway. LMFAO. Poor guy. Are they okay? Amazon help. Hello. We apologize that something like this happened. We'd like to report this incident to our operations team directly. Please send us details here and a specialist will be in touch. They wrote, now y'all think I'm about to snitch on one of your underpaid staff workers over a little throw up? I love this. I thought they were gonna rip into them like hard and be like, this is like so unprofessional, blah, blah. Mans could just have been sick. Like, what are you gonna do? If I got throw up because I have a stomach flu or something, like, and it just so happens I was delivering a package, like, I'm so sorry that I had to throw up on your driveway, but like, bodily fluids, can't control it. And this person, respect. I'm not about to tell on you for throwing up on accident in my driveway. I really like that they threw an underpaid. Just just a ni nice extra little like... The Wall Street Journal. We work CEO tells WSJ there's an easy way for companies to spot their most engaged employees. They're the ones who want to come back in the office. Those who are least engaged are very comfortable working from home. Someone replied and said, I wonder why the CEO of a company that rents office space would say... <gasps> I was gonna say, this would be more credible if it wasn't coming from the person who pays for the rent. Of course they want their employees back. They're paying rent for the studio. That's all. <laughs> I thought if I had anything else to add, I'm like, I really don't. I really don't. I like going to Walmart for fun. Walmart replied, it's the small things, Merck. What's your favorite thing to do in our stores? Merck says steal. <laughs> no. <laughs> Oh no, Merck. Not only is he like totally like exposing himself, but he's also making fun of the fact that Walmart is probably one of the easiest stores to steal from. And I'm not saying that from experience. Everybody knows. If you know, you know. That's all I'm gonna say. If you know, 
you know. <laughs> the security there, not the best. Chester Cheetah, which is the Cheetos man's. Well, it's not man's, it's a cheetah. Flamin' Hot Doritos are only good when Cheetos have sold out. Good morning. Doritos wrote back saying, loving this rent-free space inside your head. Like, is a chip company really fighting right now? <laughs> Publicly? This is embarrassing. No one wrote back. Y'all are owned by the same company. Shut the F up. What? They are? Cheetos and Doritos is the same company? Essentially, they taste kind of very similar. Like they do. Let's be honest, they do. Like why are you guys out here on Twitter pretending like you guys are rivals when it's like, same brand. Shout out to my DoorDash driver on his grind for real. Oh, I love that. So this guy is door dashing and he is putting his Spotify music code and his name and his profile so that people can go check out his music. Spotify wrote, that's next level genius with the mind blown emoji. Ryan wrote, maybe if you paid artists enough, he wouldn't have to do DoorDash. <sighs> Facts, hard facts, hard freaking facts. A lot of artists have to get other jobs and stuff because uh, you just don't make, you make diddly squat. You make freaking pennies. I have a lot of artist friends, musicians, and it's quite literally sense. Yeah. Spotify was trying to like chime in and be like, wow, that's genius. And it's like, yeah, well, he might not have to if uh, you guys pumped up a little more cash for him. But maybe he got more views and I hope he did. And I hope people saw this tweet and then looked him up or see this video and then they look him up. Brendan Rush, go follow him, go check it out. I might for real. Taco Bell, McDonald's and Johnny Rockets are struggling to find enough workers to fill thousands of positions as US economy reopens. That's not surprising. Someone wrote, have you tried paying them more? Well, you said it on me, but I was thinking the same thing. Literally, that's why I said it's not surprising. You make diddly squat in fast food restaurants. I actually worked at Tim Hortons. If you are new here, I worked at Tim Hortons for about eight years of my life. I went on to be like a supervisor. I worked in two different cities. Pennies! I remember when I got promoted to a supervisor, my raise was 25 cents. And I'm not even trying to call out Tim Hortons because I just drank Tim Hortons this morning. I love Tim Hortons. No fast food restaurant pays their employees enough. The customer service you have to deal with in fast food, man, y'all deserve way more than what you're being paid. My DoorDash just got here and my daughter opened the door to get it because I'm sick and told the driver, thank you and thank you for coming out so late. Kids really are better than us. DoorDash put a heart. Then they wrote back, pay your drivers what you pay your social media team. This was not for you. Please go to hell. <laughs> Alrighty, Roo. Well then, when people compliment like Uber drivers or Uber Eats drivers or DoorDash or things like that, it's like, I'm not complimenting the company. I'm complimenting the hardworking employees that sustain your company. Not the people who created the business, but the people who actually keep it alive and make it a success. That's all I'm going to say. Well, these were some brands who got roasted or roasty toasty, as I like to say, on social media. And I am here for it. Love it. I actually like when people like show their food complaints about Uber Eats or like they got a package and they show like what it was supposed to be versus what they got. Cause we've all been there. You know what I mean? Let me know what you guys want to see next. And if you enjoyed this video, subscribe so that you don't miss my next one. I'm getting out of here though. See you later. Bye. Losing time, I'm fading fast I just wanna make it last Try to let go of the past I close my eyes, embrace the blast Sleepless nights and headaches stack Restlessness to hell and back What's my purpose, what do I grab? A slippery surface, a heart attack And sometimes you just gotta believe There's something that'll give you relief There's something that'll have what you need what you need
we're broken, it's tragic We're not all elastic, but maybe there's magic Believe you could have it 